First team All-Stars on the boys representing the astronaut War Eagles, Jace Carter. Underclassman, one of the smoothest athletes, basketball players you'll see on the on the court. On the a court. sophomore, average 17 points a game this year, Steve. Got yeah. after it on the defensive side as well. Nearly eight boards a game. As a sophomore in this county, that's a heck of a year. He's got a great shot. He was the team leader last year as a, as a freshman. Yeah. Uh, Jace is a special basketball player. Incredibly nice young man. Every time we see him, he's the first person to come over and thank us for being there. He's that kind of person. He's he's gonna. By the time he leaves astronaut, there are gonna be a lot of schools wanting mm -hmm. the, that young man to attend their school. Yeah, no question about it. You know anything about it? Uh, no, not really. Yeah, I, mean, I got to see astronaut play a couple of times, but again, uh, oh, just as a spectator. Yeah. So he's, they, he's, they were they were a, they were a special team this year. Go ahead. Our offensive player of the year from the astronaut War Eagles. Cario Okendo, uh, easily the most dynamic <laughs> basketball player on the Space Coast. You know, what is an offensive player of the year? If it's the most dynamic, he wins it hands down. A special talent. He's only a junior. Anytime you make the ESPN top 10 yeah. plays of the day, which he did twice this year, yeah. uh, if you, if you haven't on. had a chance to watch him play, watch it. the first time I ever saw him play, we broadcasted a Middle school basketball game a few years ago, Jackson versus McNair. We were watching this kid from Jackson Middle School did three windmill dunks. And we were, Orville and I were going crazy. He said, who is this kid? You know, he's an eighth grader. Three windmill dunks. That was Cario Okendo. Uh, everybody in the country is going to want that young man next year. SVP on ESPN. I was sitting there one night doing some work. And uh, there was a TV behind me. And... I heard astronaut in high school, cardio, and I was like, what? <laughs> but, no, I mean, just congratulations, great yeah. stuff. And uh, do any of you have a, had an opportunity to see him play this year? Yeah. What, do you, what do you think? Unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. he's a pure athlete. Yeah, yeah. absolutely, and, and fearless. I mean, I've, yeah. I've seen him just go straight into the body and, and put people on posters. Yeah. So. That's, that's a special, you know what, that's a mindset yes. to yes. be fearless in yeah. basketball because yeah. – you know, there are no shoulder pads, no offense football players. There are no shoulder pads. You hit that backboard or that rim or that floor. And I'm your assistant coach of the year. Assistant coach of the year, a familiar name if you've been on the Space Coast for 20, 30 years, Larry Gilreath from Astronaut High School. When I first got involved with high school basketball back in the 90s, Coach Gilreath was the head coach at Titusville. Mm -hmm. And uh, he retired, and lo and behold, his son Kyle is now the head coach at Astronaut brought his dad out of retirement, he's his assistant coach, but to have somebody like that with that kind of knowledge on the bench, and uh, just, you know, it's Kyle's team, but uh, Coach Gilreath, just, you know, what can I help you with? With Carter and Okendo, yeah. you know, they finished 20 and 6, they